Somera mudiro lyo nge wagidua Maryland High School Elisangi wentebe Somero lya bawala na balenzi Dusomesa arts and sciences Okubire dela kusini ya soka Okutukire dela kusini ya yomukaga Ngali sangi wa mchifechi wewe pobulunje Tuline bisule yomu lembe Science Laboratory Sakoni Computer Lab Uwamune She gives you her number But your pen didn't work And the bus is gone Get a pen you can rely on Big Crystal, the long-lasting pen with perfect ink flow. Wamune. Green Hill Academy has high standards of learning and the teachers are very good. They give you a sense of belonging. Green Hill has helped me to discover my talent. The environment is good. Encourage us children to be excellent. Sawa zili muenda, iranga utele voliku BBS Telefine ya fe, yu waka waka wabuganda. Ngapu ujo, sawa muenda, atetu wa nesomo ya wanafe, awali musini ya yu mkaga, nganuna kwa walero, Master Walugaba. Uh, sajadi okuva wali Trinity College na bingo ya tuseda nesomo ya chemistry. Ninyo ngele kubajikiza inti muntaka teka eyo kusumesa na dela muwi cheno inti kufu. Onako luwa lero tukena kuba nemisa ulvanyuma luwa kilasi ya feno tuja kuba nemisa. Misa ya niba doba yu kuna zebigere. Yo mchumanyi unako luwa yu Thursday. Onako rencha kwa Good Friday ya tu ine misa. Emisa yu egena kubele yu mwude wa kilasi yu. Katika studia jise mbeza kumpi tujia kusoka tubaina yo Kati tunaba kugenda butelevu Ate wali kati tuweko ni nchuka chuke yo Tumanyi tujia kubane kila seyo Eja kubaa yenja Na isi kusawa muenda Kubane kusawa muenda Tujia kubane miseyo Eja gudu Friday So nchaka teke yo Tujigo velele bulunji Tuwa waza muenda Abali kutelefai na abagena maso Nukulaba mkulu viane Viane olina bingo Jua wadola ba nilera yori mkulaba Ate kila seyo nino jigo velele bulunji Walu Josephine na batanzi Oli ruwero uh, Ne mkulu rime mchivi Na uwe bali kubango laba telefai ni yafe Tuwa waza masumero agataka musente Maryland High School wali kentebe atela neba nafe wa Agwini uh, Academy. Mwebali kubati mwebali na mwete katekeno. Uh, Muli yubu wate atela ne wano echibuli. Big Pen na mwe mkulabuli mwagwa amanyi atela nkumba university. Njaba mwete devu tugene mwkilasi atela masa sajadi. Abedenga tuwa la musomo ya chemistry. Neya nziza nyo mtesi tesi wafe. Uh, Kansoko kula msamu ina abatu uliriza. Yejemuli, especially our candidates. I'm here for our candidates who are in the holidays. We don't want them to lose anything. Let me hope you will gain from what we are doing. Thank you for tuning the Babasa. Now, uh, I'm here for organic chemistry. If you remember last year, Last time, we were on alcohols, phenols and alcohols. And uh, before we start, I left you with some number. And I want to use like four minutes to see what you are supposed to do. So those who attempted it, I hope you will be, uh, will be marking yourself. The question was saying, an alcohol X contains... I'm not going to repeat. Carbon, uh, the percent of carbon was 64.9. It contained hydrogen, whose percent was 13.5. And the rest, oxygen. The rest was oxygen. And uh, of course, since this is percent, percent, you add this to this, you subtract from 100. And then you get the percent of oxygen as 21.6. So this is the composition. We can first get the empirical formula. How do we get the empirical formula? As in the usual way. We get the composition, we divide by atomic mass of carbon is 12. 
so that this one will give us what? The moles. We get uh, for hydrogen 13, 0.5 divided by 1, oxygen is 16. So from there, those are, uh, we get, uh, this one we get 5.4, and this one is 13.5, and this one is 1.3. Those are our moles. Now, the next step is to divide by the smallest moles. Divide by the smallest moles. Now, in this one, the smallest moles are 1.35. So we are going to divide the, these ones, these ones by this same one as 1.35 divided by 1.35. This one, 3.5 divided by 1.35. 5.4 divided by 1.35. When we divide this one, it gives the ratio 1. This one gives 10. Uh, this one gives 4. This one implies that we have 4 carbons, 10 hydrogens, 1 oxygen. And that is our, the simplest formula, which we call the empirical empirical formula. So the empirical formula is C4H10O. Now, the moment you get that empirical formula, we know that this empirical formula, if you multiply it by a number, it gives you the molecular mass. Now, in our question, they told us the molecular mass was 70. 74. So if we multiply this one by a certain number which we don't know yet, this one is 4H10. If we multiply it by N, this one should give us 74, which is the molecular mass. Now, if we expand this one, remember any number you write outside the brackets is multiplied through the brackets. So carbon, the atomic mass of carbon is 12 times 4, that is 48 times n. So it gives 48n plus hydrogen is 1, 1 times 10, 10 times n, 10n. Oxygen is 16 times n. Which gives you uh, this one is equal to 74. Now, when you add these ones, they also give you 74 n, which gives 74, and n is 1. Which means if n is 1, then it means this one is also the molecular formula. So it means that the molecular formula. is C4H10O. That one, I hope all of you got that one. But my, my, my concern was the isomers of that compound, the compound of this name, that was my thing. In how many ways can you arrange the four carbons, the 10 hydrogens, and one oxygen? so that they give different alcohols in how many ways, or how many different alcohols can you get from a compound of this molecular mass? Of course, this one is very simple. The first one is like this. And the name is, you are supposed also to give is butan one all. We can arrange it in this way. Or we can have we can arrange those atoms like CH2 
you see now we have shifted this one, the OH, we have put it on the second carbon. And so this one is another alcohol and its name is, is butane 2, is butane 2 or. Is there any other way we can arrange apart from these two? Yes. We can also write it like this. Now here we have put a branch. We have put a methyl branch. Now this one is another isomer. Four carbons, ten hydrogens, one oxygen. Its name is 2-methyl. Two methyl, the longest continuous chain, one, two, three. Prop, propan, one, all. Is there any other way of arranging the four carbons and the, there any other way? Have we left out any other compound? Yes. Uh, we can also arrange them like Same number of carbons, four carbons, ten hydrogens, one oxygen. We can also arrange it like this. We can also arrange it like this. And the name, take the longest continuous chain, is propane. One, two, three. It has a branch, a methyl branch on carbon number two. The OH, the functional group, is on carbon number two. So the name now is, we say, two methyl propan two all. Propan two all. Those are our isomers. Remember, they told us that the compound X is an alcohol. So you don't, you don't put the other isomers which are not alcohols because you can get other isomers which are ethers. But at the beginning, they told you it was an alcohol. So all the isomers are supposed to be alcohols. Those are our... Those who tried it, thank you very much. And those who did not try, please, next time... Make sure that you always try those numbers. When you try those numbers, uh, it becomes very easy. It becomes very easy. Always make sure that try those numbers which are given. Now, let us continue with the alcohols. Today, we want to look at physical properties of alcohols. Physical properties. Physical properties of physical properties of alcohols. The physical properties like boiling point, like solubility, those ones are the physical properties. Now, the first physical property of alcohols is that the boiling points of alcohols increase with increase in molecular weight. The boiling point increase with increase in relative molecular mass. In other words, when you start with an alcohol, which is small, like this, the one next to this one is this, alcohol, The one next to this is so we are saying that as the alcohol keeps growing bigger, 
bigger and bigger. The boiling point also increases. We have said the boiling points of alcohols, boiling points of alcohols increase with increase in their relative molecular masses. Now, what do you think is the reason? Why do you think as the alcohols become bigger and bigger, their boiling points also increase? What do you think is the reason? Uh, the reason is because as the, as the molecular mass increases, as the molecular mass increases, uh, the, the strength of Van, Van der Waals forces also increases. As the molecular mass increases, the strength of the Van der Waals forces also increase. And when the strength of the Van der Waals forces increase, it means you need more energy. You need more energy to separate the molecules. These, uh, the, Van der Waals, the Van der Waals forces, are those forces between the molecules from one molecule to another one. So the force of attraction between the two molecules is what we call the Van der Waals forces. So the boiling points of alcohols increase with increase in molecular mass because as the molecular mass increases, the strength of the Van der Waals forces also increase. And when the strength of the Van der Waals forces increase, it means you need more energy to separate the molecules. Hence, the increase in boiling points. Now, uh, uh, apart from that one, we are going to say, apart from saying that the boiling points increase with the increase in molecular weight. The question would be, what is the effect of the branching? What is the effect of branching on the boiling points? What do I mean here? Is that if I have, if I have two alcohols which are isomeric, two alcohols which are isomeric, and those ones mean those which have the same molecular mass. I may have an alcohol which is like this. But using the same number of carbons, same number of hydrogen, same number of, I can have another alcohol which is like this. In this one, there is branching. In this one, is, there is no branching. But both of them have the same molecular mass. They have the same formula. But this one is branched, this one is not branched. So the question is, what is the effect of branching on the boiling points of alcohols? And we are saying that, uh, we are saying that increased branching, eh? increased branching, Increased, <coughs> increased branching is accompanied by a decrease in boiling point. Is, is accompanied by a decrease in boiling, boiling point. Why? They ask why that increased branching, eh, increased branching is accompanied by a reduction in the boiling points. It means now, if we consider these two compounds, this one is butane, one or this one is two methyl, two methyl propane, two or. They have the same molecular mass, but they don't have the same boiling points. Now we have said that increased branching is accompanied by a decrease in boiling points. It means now, 
that this one which has more branches has a lower boiling point than this one which is linear. Now, why do you think it is like that? That when you increase the branching, the boiling point also is lowered. Why? Uh, I give an example like if you have mattresses, eh, many mattresses and you want to put them in uh, the many mattresses, you want to put them, to pack them in a room. You want to put them in a room. Hmm? Many mattresses, you want them packed in a given room. Now, do you think by folding them, folding the mattresses and putting them in that very room, and another person just puts them when they are not folded, one on top of the other, which one do you think would a pack, which one would take more mattresses? Is it the one who folds and put in the room, or the one who just puts there the mattresses the way they are, then puts one on top of the other? Where do you think the packing would be more compact? Me, I would think the one where it would be more compact is the one which is you leave the mattress like this so that you pack one on top of the other without folding them. Because you can see that here there is more contact. Eh? One mattress, then you put another one, then you put another one. Now, if you make them, if you tie them, if you fold, if you fold the mattress, you give them a shape which is like this. And if the shape becomes like that, and you start parking, there is the, some spaces you will be wasting them if you make the mattress to be circular like this. In other words, when you make the mattress circular, the area of contact between one mattress and another is reduced. That, that area of contact is reduced. So we are saying that when you look at these compounds, butane one all and two methyl propane two all, this one is almost, because of those branches, it is almost becoming spherical. While this one is flat. So if you are packing, the one which is flat, you pack many than the one which is spherical. So what do we conclude now? We are saying that uh, increased branching is accompanied by a decrease in boiling point because, <coughs> because uh, branching gives the molecule almost a spherical shape. Branching gives uh, branching tends to give the molecule almost a spherical shape. And when it gives that spherical shape, the extent of contact between one molecule and another is reduced. So if that area of contact is reduced, then it means the Van der Waals forces also will be reduced. And therefore, you will need less energy to vaporize that compound. That's why increased branching reduces, increased branching reduces uh, the boiling point. Then another point now is that boiling points of, the boiling points of alcohols are higher than those of alkanes. Boiling points of alcohols are higher than, than those of alkanes. In this one, we are looking at amongst the, the alcohols themselves. But now, how does the boiling point of a given alcohol compare with the boiling point of an alkane of comparable molecular mass? 
if an hurricane has a molecular mass, which is almost like that one of an alcohol, which one will be having a higher boiling point? And we are stating here that boiling points of alcohols are higher than those of hurricanes, than those of hurricanes of corresponding of corresponding molecular weight. than those of corresponding molecular weight. Reason? What do you think is the reason? The reason is because uh, alcohols have, alcohols form hydrogen bonds because of that functional group, the OH. So molecules of alcohols associate through hydrogen bonds. And hydrogen bonds are stronger than van der Waals forces. Uh, therefore, because of that, the alcohols will be having a higher boiling point than hurricanes of corresponding molecular weight. The reason I have told you is that molecules of hurricanes associate through the weak van der Waals forces, whereas molecules of alcohols associate through hydrogen bonds. And hydrogen bonds are stronger than Van der Waals forces. So you need more energy to break the hydrogen bonds of alcohols. So you may find an alcohol like, if that one is an alcohol, it will associate with another alcohol through hydrogen bond. This is one molecule of alcohol. This is another molecule of alcohol. Then you will find this one will also associate with another molecule of, and this one with the next one also, this one the next. So boiling means you have to separate these ones. You must break these hydrogen bonds. You must break them. And breaking them, you need more energy than in hurricanes. The hurricanes, the molecules associate through the weak van der Waals forces. Uh, another point is lower members of alcohols dissolve in lower members of alcohols dissolve in water. We all know that most alcohols, the lower members especially, they tend to dissolve in water. And the reason they dissolve in water is that the molecules of alcohol also form hydrogen bonds with water. And like this, if this one is a water molecule, it will form a hydrogen bond with another molecule of now this one is an alcohol this one is an alcohol this one is water so and this one is going to form hydrogen bond with another water molecule this one will also form a hydrogen bond with another So because of this, because the alcohols can form hydrogen bonds, alcohols can form hydrogen bonds with water. That's why they dissolve in, that's why they dissolve in water. <coughs> uh, now, those are the physical properties of water. We can summarize them, we ha I have said. The boiling points of alcohols increase with increase in molecular weight. Reason is because the strength of the van der Waals forces increase with increase in molecular weight. So when the van der Waals forces increase, it means you need more energy to break those van der Waals forces in order to vaporize the what? To vaporize the alcohol. Secondly, we have said increased branching lowers the boiling point. 
when the molecule it has many branches, its boiling point tends to be low. Reason, we said that increased branching tends to make the molecule to have a nearly spherical shape. That spherical shape, it reduces the extent of contact between molecules, and therefore it weakens the van der Waals forces. Hence, less energy is needed. We have also said that alcohols, uh, the boiling points of alcohols are higher than those of alkanes. Why? Because molecules of alcohols associate through hydrogen bonds. Whereas molecules of alkanes associate through van der Waals forces. Hydrogen bonds are stronger than van der Waals forces. Therefore, the alcohols the alcohols have stronger forces than alkanes, and therefore, for alcohols, you need higher, you need more, you need more energy to vaporize. And lastly, we have said that uh, alcohols dissolve in water, and we see the reason they dissolve in water is because alcohols can form hydrogen bonds with water and that's why they dissolve in water now want now to go to preparation of hurricanes i mean preparation of alcohols Preparation of alcohols. Preparation of alcohols. Number one, I think even most of you may be having an idea. Okay? Number one is fermentation. fermentation and uh, that fermentation there is this most of you where you come from there is people in your local area they make alcohol there is a way people make alcohol from different areas we know there is Tonto Tonto I think is it or something Tonto there are those who drink Marwa there are those who make uh, bananas but different areas, there is Kwete, there is Marwa, Tonto, and so many others. Now, from your local area, you already know that there are people, there are communities which use sorghum. There are communities which use millet. There are communities which use uh, sorghum. There are those who, communities which use uh, um, millet, I mean, uh, yeah, maize, rice, potatoes. Now, in all those processes, the chemistry behind them is the same. The chemistry behind them is the same. It involves uh, fermentation is glucose. Glucose using yeast, yeast which has an enzyme zymase, which changes it to alcohol. In all those processes, in all those processes, it is glucose changing glucose through zymase, an enzyme found in yeast, and uh, that zymase is the one which uh, encourages the fermentation of glucose to form alcohol and carbon dioxide. 
So there are many sources of alcohol. Starch, almost every starch. You can use potatoes, you can use rice, you can use sorghum, you can use maize. So from your different communities, please make sure that from your different communities, you can always, uh, <clears throat> you can always get uh, glucose. I mean, yeah, you can always get uh, ethanol. There are those who use barley, like in the Nairo breweries, they use barley. But all of them, it is, the starch is hydrolyzed to form glucose. Those of you who study biology, you know that when you eat starch, at the end of it, you get glucose. So if it is starch, any starch can be hydrolyzed and you come to glucose. This one is glucose. Then that glucose is the one which is fermented using yeast to form, to form ethanol. And when you go back to your school, you can always uh, change notes. You can look at your friends, in those who come from Arua, those who come from we ask them, how do people in your area get uh, alcohol? How do they make alcohol? Uh, you can consult uh, fellow students from other areas. I know those from Kasese, they don't make the uh, ethanol in the same way like those who come from Mumbai. Those from Mumbai are different from those from Guru. Those from Guru are different from those here in Central. But for all of them, it is the same process. Starch being hydrolyzed to glucose, then glucose fermenting to form ethanol. So when you go back to school, don't just keep your knowledge, the knowledge you have. Always uh, try to discuss with your friends. Remember, two heads are better than one, unless they are over sheep. Now, we have been talking about alcohol, alcohol, but ethanol, ethanol is the only alcohol that people drink. And that ethanol is also the one which is commonly we call alcohol. So when they just say alcohol, without putting, without specifying which alcohol, it means isano. This is the alcohol that people drink. It is the one you find in beers. It is the one you find in whiskey. It is the one you find in Tonto. It is the one you will find in Marwa. It is the one, it is isano. It is the one people drink. So when they say alcohol, you need alcohol. We, if someone has not specified and someone just says, you need alcohol. This is what it means, ethanol. And it is the one we drink. If it is not ethanol, then you, they don't call it alcohol. They can give its name like methanol or propan one. Or, but if it is just alcohol, you know it is this one. Now, uh, for you candidates, alcohol is not good for you. As you know that most uh, teenagers abuse alcohol and some get addicted. Uh, alcohol is actually abused by many, especially students. Yeah. Don't take too much alcohol. It is poisonous. If you take a lot of it for a long time, it will kill your liver, it will kill your heart, it will. So please, don't take that too much alcohol. In fact, methanol, methanol is, methanol is another alcohol. This one is even more toxic than ethanol. This methanol for it actually, it causes blindness and death, that methanol. Uh, this is the methylated spirit they put in our heads when we, they cut our hair. It is a mixture of methanol and, and ethanol. The one they say methylated spirit, methylated spirit, it is methanol mixed with ethanol. That thing is not for drinking. That's why they put that smell, the way it smells, it is a bit weird. And sometimes they put color. All those ones are put as a warning that it is not for 
drinking. It is not for drinking. Uh, there is a time people, these uh, alcoholics, people who are addicted and they went to uh, a kafunda, a kafunda like a somoroba and started drinking and the owner of the, of the kafunda had mixed some methano in the alcohol and they were enjoying but they didn't know that they were becoming blind. This one causes blindness, methane. They didn't know that they were becoming blind as they continued to enjoy, enjoy, and the eyes were also going, going. At one time, they thought the owner of the bar is uh, switching off the lights, is the one switching off the lights. Then they, one of them shouted that, even if you switch off the lights, we shall drink in darkness. Kumbe, the eyes were the ones who were dying. So please, make sure that you don't even try to test that method. The other alcohols for them, they are bitter even, you cannot test them. But it is a method which you can test, eh, which you can mistake to be like Isanu, but it is extremely dangerous. Don't take it. So that is the first way of one way of getting uh, uh, isano, alcohol, that is locally. Through fermentation, it can be fermentation of starch, ferment, I mean fermentation of, of sorghum, fermentation of uh, maize, fermentation of, uh, of uh, maize, and so on. Now, the second one is from alkyl halides. from alkyl halides. <clears throat> Use, if you have alkyl halides, you can get uh, alcohol. So alkyl halides are hydrolyzed by refluxing with alkyl halides. These ones, they are hydrolyzed. They are hydrolyzed using sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. These ones are hydrolyzed by refluxing with sodium hydroxide. Refluxing or heating with sodium hydroxide. When you heat an alkyl halide with sodium hydroxide, you will form alcohol. And if this one is general formula for alkyl halide, then you put sodium hydroxide. It can be sodium hydroxide or it can be potassium hydroxide. And you heat. You can put here heat or you reflux. Then you will get the alcohol. That is generally. You reflux an alkyl halide with sodium hydroxide or with potassium hydroxide, you will get an alcohol. E.g., if we have like and we reflux with sodium hydroxide and you heat, you will replace that halogen with the OH. Of course, you form sodium. That is the gene. So whenever you have an alkyl halide where there is a halogen and you reflux with the sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, you will replace that halogen by the OH and you get an alcohol. <coughs> In Erevo, we also studied the mechanisms of what are the mechanism? What is the mechanism? They will ask you the mechanism. In other words, how is this one formed? The mechanism showing the step way, step ways of step by step way of how you form the what? The ethan. So the mechanism. This one is for this one is for primary. This one is for the primary alkyl halide. The mechanism 
is you write CH3 position your alkyl halide like that. Then the attacking nucleophile is the hydroxide group. You can use the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen or you can use the negative. And this one attacks this carbon. It attacks the carbon that bears the halogen. And then this one is expelled. If you want, maybe you can put like this, losing a bromide. Then when this one goes away, then this one forms a bond to this. And you get your product as That is the mechanism. That is for primary alkyl halides. This one, this mechanism is for primary alkyl halide, like this one. What about the tertiary ones? Still the same one. Uh, what about the tertiary one? What would be the mechanism for the tertiary one? Now, for the tertiary one, always please. This one is for, for the tertiary alkyl halide. Please note that for the tertiary ones, the first step is the first step is for the alkyl halide to undergo self-ionization, the one we call heterolysis. It undergoes heterolysis. So this one first, and this one is a bit slow. It forms a carbocation, like after losing After losing, get the difference. Whereas in this one, it is the OH, as it approaches, this one goes away. That one takes place at the same time. As the OH is coming, this one is going away. This one is coming as it, the other one is going away. Where that is for primary alkyl halides. For the tertiary one, for the tertiary ones, it doesn't happen like that. It is the tertiary alkyl halide is the one which first ionizes so that it forms what? A carbocation. Please always note that one. Then after forming that carbocation, after forming that carbocation, then the hydroxide now, it comes in now. And this one is very fast. And then you form the product. You get the product. Please note the difference. For primary alkyl halides, it is the hydroxyl group which comes actually and pushes away the halogen so that you form the what? The compound. Whereas for the tertiary one, the tertiary one first undergoes self-ionization to form a carbocation. Then the hydroxide ion comes in to attack that carbocation to form the what? The alcohol. The, this first step is very slow. The, this first step is very slow and this last one is very fast. Note that difference, please. And yeah, uh, that's what we had for uh, the next time we shall be going to number three.
another method of preparing from alkenes. Those who can read ahead, you can read from alkenes. Thank you for watching us and stay tuned to Baba Sa. Good day. Uh, well, wow, tuwenza nyo, tuwenza ge Master Sajad. Ate yeah. kila seyo, mpitilivu wa urunje. Misele visinga haba, ntubala wala wibi intu. Nika tawama nyi prosesi mwibi ita. Okuso wala kutuka, wala binyuera. Wawawo wabu didide, inti haba gunyue nyo. Ate guinzo kubele gogula bedi, wala mbo wawwe. Ila haba bedewe gendeleza, gabo gunyua. Na hiwe wawo, baso wala kuiga. Uh, Unako wala hiru biology wa fe, ubwa uh, chemistry. Bwato wakomye, uh, ne master sajad. Ila anga utelevu, tugenda kugenda ate. Mumisa, yotuwa kutegeze za tuja kubana yo e, sawa kumyo unaku uluwa lero e, ya Good Thursday, ya Holy Thursday, edamu ntaka teka emu, no unaku uwencha, tuwa kutegeze za tiyamu. Mbude bonu wa kilase, no tuja kubawa na misa, aono chitegeze anti kilasi, ya tuja kubeda o misa na sosi kaungezi, nge munteka teke, no kusoko kulaba anti mubeda, mu Good Friday, ate mubeda enunji. Nenga tuwa baza, hapa tuweka musente, kusoko kutu sako, kusoma kuno, beba nafe, hapa Green Hill uh, Schools, wali, eh, Ichiburi, nebu ate, ate da nebana fawa Maryland High School entebe, koko tusa, ate ne mkwano njafaba nkumba university, ate da ne Big Pen. Habana uh, haba hizi, haba somera wali uh, e, bombo ku somero dia general schools, uh, primary, mwebali nyo mwebali dada, wakubati mwagobele ya kiasi zona, ate da naba, haba inja ulo mwena, haba giza koku tegeza haba naba mwe, babi renga, babi da kuunteka teka eno. Eh, Bulunaku? Tuba na okusumo kwa kubaraza baku na kuro kutanu. Atene kuna kuro njino romu kaga na dala kumacha enyo kumina bili. Haba na haba kia seza wa guru. Mufu na mkisa ato kubanti mugo vedela okusumo kwa fewa na kutelefaina e yafe. Tukena kumula mbo tuda. Tujia kubatu watu wala temu unteka teka yoku saba wali edubaga. Tuva kutelefaina e yafe. Nze Morris Mchivi Omgavi.